everybody, my name is Professor Tabuna Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab, and today we're looking at the big idea. Now, by clicking on this video, you are obligated to learn with me, and I am obligated to teach you. Now, let us start our big idea. So, you know that jump discontinuity we saw at the beginning? Well, that was only one of three discontinuities. So, the jump discontinuity is only the first one. But the second one, you may ask? Well, it's all the way in here. You have to dig so deep that it's in damn humane. The removable discontinuity. See that? We dug so far and we finally found it. Oh, thank God. The pickaxe was about to break. Anyways, removable discontinuity, what does it do? Well, let's say we draw a graph. Uh, no, let's say we have a function, kind of like x minus 2 whole squared over x squared minus 4. This is called, this is what's called a removable discontinuity. The limit is x approaches 2 would be a discontinuity as when you figure everything out, then you simplify everything, and then you have this, the beautiful zero over zero, which is a lower point. So that creates a kind of discontinuity. But then, if we simplify this, taking x minus 2, x minus 2 over x minus 2, x plus 2, by factoring the difference of squares, and then we get this. We plug in we get a merciless zero oh that means that the graph would look something like this if we had negative two right over here no if we had positive two right over there right then the graph would look just like this it would look like regular oh no that's not how it looks look like regular y equals zero the good old boring graph until you get here which is a discontinuity but it's removable oopsies to a hole in the y-axis don't mind that all right so now this gives us just enough space for our third topic 